Hey everyone, welcome back. Klaus here. Today we're looking at the auto extraction in Cyclone 3DR, going through the whole workflow from when you go to the boots, you capture your data, you have your 3D point cloud, and then how to get the uh, diameters or radius from each single tree trunk out of it. Enjoy watching. Cyclone 3D are open, so one thing we want to do, we want to bring our point cloud into Cyclone 3D. The quickest way of doing so is using the LGS file. So we can open this one here. You can see the point cloud is directly available. So we captured it with color, so we have the real color there. So we want to bring the point cloud into Cyclone 3D so that we can work with it, so we can convert it, say how many points we want to bring in, we can preview it and then can bring it in. The good benefit of uh, having and visualize the point cloud directly in Cyclone 3D before you bring the data in, you can actually also choose what data you want to bring in. So you can see that we have here views and slices. So we could, be prior to importing the point cloud, we can slice the data to the portion which we truly want to bring in and then use only that element to work with it. So nice data set here captured with the BLK to go, simply walking through the woods and capture the area. So the conversion will be done in a moment. You can see how nice we can also fly through the data. All right, that will be done in a second. There we go, say okay. And the point cloud sits now in Cyclone 3DR. So one thing, first thing what we know, what we can notice here, uh, we have a slope in here, and also we have not a flat surface, we have shape in there. Everything was much easier if we have a flat surface, we can just do an offset. Uh, to the desired area to create our tree trunks out of it. So in here, because reality is not always as we want, we use the function of creating a DTM, a digital terrain model, to do the job for us. So we're creating just a quick uh, slice through the data. We can preview it. And the DTM creates basically a ground uh, mesh of our forest. So, okay. Now we have there our mesh and we have our data. Now we want to slice our trunks at a meter or one meter uh, height from the ground. To do so, we can easily use our mesh. We can move our mesh by one and a half meter up in the Z direction, just like that. Say OK. And now what we're doing, we want to split our point cloud. So splitting it is in the cleaning compartment. So if we click the point cloud, we can manually clean it. But why do it manually if we can do it automatically? Click also the mesh at the same time. Now we have the option separate according a distance. So we can simply choose this one. And what it will do, we want to filter our point cloud, uh, the trees, and we want to and use our DTM to uh, cut through it. Threshold 5 centimeters, so we can generate a 5 centimeter slick point cloud. Preview it. And then we get a nice slice through our data at the desired height. So. And there we go. So we can also see now our, if I take the switch off the DTM, that we can see that we nicely sliced through our data. Brilliant. And what we want to see the far away one is there. And that's the rest. Brilliant. Okay. So what we have now with our point cloud in 
here. So what I want to do, this is all one data. I quickly rename it to simply trunks. And the next step, I will explode them. And to do a little bit order in Cyclone Street here, I will create a subfolder where I will move my point cloud into. Now what I want to do is we can see that everything is now one point cloud still, but we need individual inputs, individual sub sample point clouds from each of them. So I just split it by distance, say everything waters close to 25 centimeters. We want to split now. You can see that we get uh, now 75 parts. Okay. So in some areas, so when we zoom into, so we can see here this trunk, we would need to now split again because they were very close together. So we can either one do it again by distance, or we can also simply do it manually and split the data up there. Okay, do the next one there, split the small part out there. Okay, split. And we can also have a look. Uh, if we have any others there, so this here, for example, split it, split, okay. So once we did this one here, what we want to do, we just take all the data available here and we just go to extract circle, a best circle. And if I do this one, I get now a uh, a circle fitted for every single trunk which I have in there. So what I want to do here, important is to pick the option one shape per input. So we have still some noise there. What I will do, I will reduce the uh, noise by saying I ignore 15% of uh, noisy data and fit my best circle in there. Don't need the labels. We just simply need our data here. Brilliant. So we did this one. Now what we got, if we now minimize that, now you can see how ordered it is if we use subfolders. The geometry folder we have now a circle for every single trunk. And we can also show only. And we can now simply take this data here and also bring it directly into um, AutoCAD, for example. So what we can do, uh, here we go. We can simply say, right click, send to AutoCAD. You can see that the data directly appears over here. So what I want to do is, I have now the tree trunk for every single tree, but I don't want to manually now get what is the radius out of it. So to do so, I'm using a little script and uh, I can just do run a script. I can open a script, which will be my uh, radius per circle input, open it up. So it's already saying, select all circles, doing that one, select all. Then I say press the play button and then I get here for every tree trunk my x and y coordinates and the uh, z value which typically is now our input for our radius. So we can go back into AutoCAD and in here I just insert a block which I created called a uh, reshaper. You can just insert it anywhere here and you can see the radius uh, is given here. So what I want to do is I'm using the input which I got from uh, Cyclone 3 dr Here we have our block. What I will do, I will simply copy my block and I will paste it to every uh, every single structure and copy paste my values here. 
can see how they are popping in now into AutoCAD. So once that is done, then we can review our data. So every single uh, trunk has now, okay, that's done. So our first blocks we can just delete. Now we can see everything is still zero. So if we now just hit save, then we can see here we have for every single tree trunk also now our radius. Brilliant. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please let me know.